time is back. You know, the, with all the modern tools that we can do, that we can do better fellowship. Now, that's what I, I, I mean, through the uh, virtual laboratories, the virtual forums, the virtual classes, virtual platforms. Yeah. And the other thing is, I think it's it important is uh, all the laboratory has to be open-ended, you know, open-ended, uh, uh, the <coughs> laboratory. As I mentioned, I, I gone through the three important uh, primary institute in Taiwan, which is uh, the Taida, you know, Tsinghua, and the Jiaoda. So I almost forgot what, what did I do in Taida, other than dating the girls and others. I, I don't, <laughs> don't have a much... Uh, the memory of that, but I did remember one thing, that is the lab. So when I returned, that was uh, five or six years ago, I returned to Taiwan, they say, hey Frank, just, just put your name into the internet, your wonderful three characters name. Yeah, so what, 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 what could happen there? They say, I have a no extra girlfriend at this point. You know, they still, you know, they have some problem with me. I think that is the, the time has diluted or there is not an issue anymore. So I was uh, courageous enough, I said, oh, I put my name in. I put my name in, one thing popped out. My laboratory report in National Taiwan University. Oh, my lab report, my professor put my lab report on the internet. Uh, he says, uh, you know, Jin Dai Wu Li, the modern physics student experimental uh, laboratory, the, the memory, memoir, for that. I said, my goodness, this guy put my lab report on the net, you know? Then I, I, and I go to see that, I say, my goodness, it, it, indeed it is mine. You, you cannot see that clearly, but I, I made a jumper, the circuit, you know, when you don't want the circuit to, to connect, you, you put a jumper at that time. I was in a hurry to take care of my girlfriend. He was <laughs> waiting in the, in the Dongnan Ya Xi Yuan, okay? <laughs> Southeast Theater, you know, and, and the time is close, only five minutes away, and I have to turn in this report. My goodness, I don't want to restore this chart. So let's see. I do this, you know. Who cares? Minus five. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just submit it. So I, I submitted a report. This report took me one year to do. One year to finish this report. To do what? The professor gave me the seven tubes. Each of the tube has a powder, metal powder in there, and we were told these are transitional elements each of in this uh, tube, seven tubes of them, and they're uh, giving us, give us a what? Give us a, a lousy x-ray, a very old x-ray. It leaks everywhere. <laughs> Almost it doesn't work, the x-ray system, the high voltage system. No shielding, no to protection. That's one thing. The other thing, the instrument, the detection, uh, the system called the scintillation counter, no such a thing, you build it yourself. So you can see this, uh, this is a scintillation counter. This is a neon lamp, which is the, the first one is uh, one, the second one is two, then the four, then there's the eight. So it totally, it depends on which, which lamp is lighting, then you have to count with your eyes. Oh, you write down the number. And it's a Geiger counter. This is a pulse supply you build out. And this is a platform. This is a platform, indeed the platform. Today, you know, our young generation is a platform. is something in the cyberspace. Uh, the platform to us is an aluminum frame. And so we can plug in the, the uh, vacuum tubes. That's called a platform, okay? So as you can see, uh, all these uh, neon lamps, uh, that, that is this one. So you plug that into it. You put uh, many of them. And the uh, professor give you a Geiger counter head. Is it your manual head? You plug it in and then you amplify the signal. You build the, from the power supply, from the scratch, to all, the entire scintillation counter system. So we put that in front of the x-ray, and then the x-ray is leaking. <laughs> With a diffusion pump that leaks. So we have to capture the leaks in the, in the, the metal cylinder to find out where is the leak. Put the acetone, you know, try that, and then see how, how and then if oh, there's a leak here, they go down to do the welding, to weld yourself, you know, try to build, bring the system back. So finally I managed, the entire system doesn't leak anymore. I was pumping, I was so overjoyed. I want to make the student to start to do my experiment. But this is like a two o'clock in the morning. Okay, and I run out the liquid nitrogen. 
I run out of liquid nitrogen, so I rushed downstairs. I, I was the only student in the lab. All my partner, all these guys, uh, the sign their name out. <laughs> all these guys are not there. I'm the only one there. Okay? Then you, you just know Gua Ming is how high. Okay? Because they're not all there, you know? But they put their name there anyway. So I rushed downstairs, and uh, the liquid nitrogen room already locked. But on the next door, there's the eyes. So I say, oh, wonderful. I learned thermodynamics. I know when you mix the salt with ice, you, you load your freezing temperature. Wonderful. The knowledge is the power. So I got all the ice that I mix it, and I, I dumped it in. Very shortly, in 15 minutes, I burned the whole entire diffusion pump. So the whole diffusion pump was, was burned with carbon ice. You know? So the next morning, I have to face this wonderful teacher. <laughs> He really disliked the, all of us. He wanted to kill us, but that's not true. But later it turned out he has a, so much love for us. That's why he put, even put the lab report on the internet, right? Then I was thinking, I have to use the Washington's uh, the honesty to the Kan Ying Tao Su. So I, I, I went to see him and uh, confessed to him, say, Professor, I, you know, I worked so hard. So therefore, I burned this, uh, you know, pump. He looked at me, he didn't say anything, he went back to, to get a, a pair of uh, gloves. And uh, the very fine uh, linen, the uh, papers, they clean it up. So all of my teammates, we kneel down to the ground, we take all the diffusion pump out, and uh, open and clean each of them, until we're able to re-pump it. So finally, it worked again, then we align the x-ray without any protection. My God, I cannot imagine how could the... And we all deliver the babies, uh, but not as our wives, of course. Without, uh, I, I certainly hope there's no much problem, you know, and including the professor, but he always uh, delivers the girls. So uh, we, we wonder what uh, may be related, okay? But anyway, yeah, it's a, no, it's a low power x-ray, it's a two. Then we put the crystal in front of the, the, the filter and the filter out the copper alpha, copper beta lines going out. Then we measure the, each of the powder to make an equivalent, you know, and uh, dilute it in the DI water, then the shoot with the x-ray and measure the absorption constant. Okay, look at the result. There's a seven of them. There's a one, two, three, the absorption constant goes up and the suddenly drop. There's a clip, then, then gradually saturate down absorption constant. But this is a signature. What does that mean? So we rush to the library, getting the oldest uh, imperial uh, uh, Taiwan the, the university's the old you know the uh, material book for the X-ray absorption, and uh, you know the read every page carefully. Finally, we identify all the elements. Transition method. This is undergraduate education. Let me tell you, we want to kill that teacher. So one of the students suggested, say, Frank, you guys all hide behind. Then I will cover him with a big back. Once I successful in that, you guys just rush on and beating him. So then we can go home, you know, to feel happy. Fortunately, we did not do that. Okay, that would be the biggest mistake. Yeah. So I finished this report, I made a change, I go to see this professor, I deliver my report to him. He looked at me, he didn't even look at me, I'm sorry. He looked at that report, he looked at that curve, then he quietly, he opened the drawer and uh, dropped it in and uh, walked away. <laughs> I don't even know if I passed it or not, but I need to go to the Dongnan Ya Xi I cannot wait, so I left. 15 years uh, later, when I was uh, in US, I returned to Taida. I met my TA. He was also the faculty at the time for the electrical engineering department. So we had a dinner together. Then I looked and said, oh, gosh, you're my TA. He said, correct. <laughs> then I asked him, I say, do you know what that means? I, I send my report to him, and he never say a word to me. And I guess I, eventually I passed. He looked at me, he said, Frank, you are the lucky one, he said. In my 10 years as a TA in the lab, only two students never got their report thrown out the window. 
You're one of them. <laughs> that's the old way of uh, teaching. I'm not saying that's correct, but uh, in terms of how to challenge their students, this is extreme. So when I was a chair at the UCRA for double E, when we were talking about reform, education reform, I always talk about this story. All my, all my family, their child fell. They say, this is the right way to educate our students. I mean, what else? Encourage your student to study the original, you know, the, the, the script of the, the original work, original laboratory. That's the only way you challenge your student.